this is an example of an elevation page inside of Visio. Uh, the properties of this page, or the, or the shapes that drop on this page, are that they do drop to scale based on the height and width of the product. So uh, let's go ahead and show you how to do some of that. Uh, working with a rack, I'm going to pull over a existing product from the product data matrix, as well as, let's see, let me find a rack in here. There we go. Drag this over. I've got a rack and I've got a product, so I'm going to zoom in. And so the properties of both of these shapes are both elevation shapes, is that they are to scale. So unlike other page shapes, like a, a line shape, I cannot rescale these by dragging any of these handles along the side. Uh, this shape scaled based on the height and the width on the specs of this product. So if I double click the product and look at the specs, this is what determined the size of the shape on the page. So to build a rack, you would simply drag the shape over to the rack. Drag it over in the bottom left hand corner. There is a connection point that's going to snap to the connection points on the rack. When I let go, it'll snap into place. You can zoom in a little to see that. And you see that it doesn't quite fit in this rack. Uh, so you would probably add a rack shelf and that's what we'll do. I'll go ahead and grab this rack shelf from my project out here. Let's find that shape. Drag it down into place. Snap it into place. Now, what we have here is an issue of um, bring the front send to back options in Visio so the uh, receiver layer is behind the this rack shelf layer so it's, it's very easy to correct um, you can use the action toolbar up here to, uh, to bring to front send to back once you have something selected you can see the options here bring to front send to back uh, you can also right click any shape choose shape and you can see bring to front send to back here as well so to bring the receiver to the front, uh, select the top shape and then click once again to select the shape that's beneath it and then choose bring to front. So um, that's just something you might see when you're building these racks, just different layering options. Sometimes the rack is to the front and you see it doesn't quite look right when you zoom in. So you would take the rack and send it to back. Um, some of the other options on this page that we built for you are the cabinet tool shapes that are inside of this cabinet tool stencil. I'll right click and display that so you can see this and in fact I'll pull this up to a window along here and when you're working with this uh, you, there, there's a floor shape in here um, right here you can pull over to the page now our shapes aren't going to snap automatically to this floor shape so you might want to use uh, Visio guidelines and you can pull as many of those to the page as needed. If you go up to the ruler that displays along the top, you can see my uh, cursor turning into like a little double black arrow. I could pull down guidelines by left clicking. I can also pull uh, vertical ones as well. And then snap this shape to that guideline. And then my shapes from there on out will snap to the uh, guideline shape. If you want to line those up along the way. But uh, we have cabinet bottoms, cabinet tops. So let's pull out one of these. If you zoom in a little bit, you can right click these and you can see you can choose to fill them, adjust the height, width, and kick. Show doors or not on this. We can show a solid door on this particular piece. Um, you can turn the shadow on and off if you'd like. Show shadows on right now. I just turned that off. Uh, to fill this, you can right click and choose the wood fill. And under pattern, the very bottom you see we've added some uh, custom fills down here we'll go ahead and make this a uh, cherry choose OK and it fills for you um, so again the whole point of this page is to do a scaled representation of the system or systems that you're putting into a project